ground control to Major Tom. Hello fellow Sin enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. For today's movie, I am reviewing The Man Who Fell From Earth since David Bowie has passed away this past Sunday and I wanted to see The Man Who Fell From Earth. I've had it on my computer for a while and I feel bad that I was finally pushed to watch it but I know a lot of people are going to be watching Labyrinth and I figured let me do a different movie because David Bowie made quite a few movies besides Labyrinth and besides the man, the man Who Fell to Earth. But The Man Who Fell to Earth I've had for a while so I want you to watch that and it was an absolute trip and a half. Apparently it was about this alien who is the man who fell to earth and searching for water for his home planet because his home planet has no water and then it just kind of like spiraled out of control a little bit for me um it was really really long i have adhd so at times it gets a little hard if the movie is a little too long like the the man who fell to earth is two hours and 18 minutes long i kind of lose not so much interest but my attention kind of falls off the wagon and that kind of happened in the man who fell to earth but what i did understand in the movie it was actually very interesting and the plot was really good and then i think there was like i don't even know if it was in the middle where it was in this movie but it kind of just got a little too weird for me uh i really really like the direction I thought for a while the story was really good because um, Tom Newton is the name of David Bowie's character, the alien that comes to Earth. He takes the name of Tom Newton and the way he wants to get water is that he has all these patents for things, for different pieces of technology, very advanced technology, and he makes a lot of money off of that. But he never really gets back to his home planet, at least I don't think they were showing flashbacks of him and his planet and all this other stuff. It was just really, really weird. He finds this one girl at a hotel he stays at named Mary Lou, and they live together for a while, and I don't even know what happens. She just falls madly in love with him. After a few years, he doesn't love her anymore, and he wants to break up with her. She's still in love with him, and then she just gets like to be one of those whiny, pain-in-the-ass characters, and I cannot stand that. I hate whiny pain in the ass characters so much and I feel like a lot of movies in the 70s had whiny pain in the ass characters and it just drove me nuts. I couldn't stand her character whatsoever and the longer the movie went on the more of a whiny bitch she became and I couldn't handle that. David Bowie was really good in this movie. I enjoyed his acting. I believe this was his first movie he was ever in and according to IMDB, some trivia on there, he said that he just went in and did his work and he acted the way he felt that day, what his mood was and that's what he brought to the acting that day and plus a lot of cocaine apparently and he was excellent. I really enjoyed him and I do look forward to seeing more of his movies and I don't want to sound like a pretentious asshole and say oh, I'm such a big fan of David Bowie and the only songs that I have on my iPod are Let's Dance and Boys Keep Swinging or Ground Control to Major Tom or uh, the Under Pressure with Freddie Mercury. I have a little bit more than that. I do like David Bowie. I love music. I have so much music on my iPod. And I'm not gonna say that just because of those few songs that I'm a massive out of control David Bowie fan. I'm not. And I really do honestly feel bad for finally watching The Man Who Fell to Earth after he has passed away. I am really wanted to review this more for my brother, Anthony, who was a huge David Bowie fan. He was so depressed and he was so sad. He couldn't believe that one of his favorite singers passed away. He's the kind of guy that likes all the great rock and roll bands who aren't really around anymore. He's obsessed with Led Zeppelin and The Who, although The Who kind of tore around a lot. And, you know, The Beatles and, you know, so this was like really heartbreaking to him because he finally 
could have had a chance to see David Bowie in concert sometime and unfortunately you know he, he passed away. Anthony really likes The Man Who Fell to Earth. His uh, The Man Who Fell to Earth was on Criterion but for some reason it is now out of print and he managed to get a copy of it, nice copy, from a place that holds all the Criterion DVDs and that's how I was able to see it and uh, he wanted me to, to see it eventually. He really, really likes it. I don't know why it's one of his favorite Criterions. I wish he could be here to explain it, although he doesn't like to be on camera because he's a butt. Maybe there's certain things I can see. He's really big into filmmaking. A lot of the direction was very, very interesting. The scenes were shot from different angles. There were like weird close-ups, weird bar shots and things like that. And I, I appreciated it. It was it's very, very 70s. Uh, there are just certain aspects of this movie I could not get into, but I can definitely see why Anthony likes it. I'm very happy that he let me have the digital copy that he has of The Man Who Fell to Earth. And I don't normally say I absolutely hate movies. I always find something to like in it, and I did find something to like in The Man Who Fell to Earth with the direction. The story was okay, it started off pretty well, and then like I said, it just kind of fell apart a little bit for me, and I really couldn't get into the character. The character of Mary Lou in this movie is probably one of the most annoying women I've ever seen in film, and after a while she just totally ruined it, I'm sure that's probably why I fell off, like, because she just... I wanted to punch her so hard. I hope you liked my review slash rambling of The Man Who Fell to Earth. If you are a big David Bowie fan, I am very sorry for your loss. Um, I hope you keep listening to him and his music means that much more to you and even his movies, especially his movies, mean that much more to you and you appreciate him as an artist and as an actor and all the things that he was able to do for you. Even if you have never met him, he was just able to influence or, you know, help you out in some way through his music or his movies. If you liked this rambling slash review of The Man Who Fell to Earth in any way, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have seen this. Let's talk this out because I'd really, really like to talk this out more and see what you guys liked about it because maybe, um, well, I'm not even going to say maybe, I know I definitely missed a lot of stuff. So leave your comments there, leave what you think of it there, leave certain things down in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future movie reviews because that is what I do here. I love to review movies. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.